upset betrayal hurt angry Donna Prince can hardly keep her emotions contained as she talks about the charges laid against her now former partner Robert Dale Prince I had no idea this was happening at all he hid everything from me 36 year old Prince was originally charged with sexual assault and sexual interference in October 2021 in the assault of a child that took place at an unlicensed home daycare in the 400 block of Aberdeen Avenue. Prince was identified as a suspect and following a seizure and forensic analysis of an electronic device, police located more than 150 photos and videos of child sexual abuse. Police say they involved the child in the first investigation and a second child, resulting in Prince being charged again with offenses ranging from sexual assault to distributing child pornography. While Prince was a resident of the home, he was not an employee of the daycare. Donna, who operated the daycare, claims her husband lied to her outright about whether or not he had evidence of abuse on his phone, saying her trust has been smashed. If he would have said... Something's on my phone that should not be there. I would have turned him in right away. I don't harm child, children, and I don't want children's in harm way, harm's way. That's not me at all. If I had known any of this, I would not be with him, which is why I'm divorcing him. She says the man she thought she knew as her husband was a lie and the entire scenario has been devastating. You don't truly know the person that you're with. You truly don't. This has wrecked me totally and completely. On Friday, Winnipeg police briefed the media and the public on the new charges, with Constable Danny McKinnon telling reporters both the affected families and relevant outside agencies have been notified. She stressed the work that goes into these investigations is immense, with the possibility of police tracking who may have viewed the images. Investigations that are completed by ICE are extremely complex and... Um, for obvious reasons, I can't give the details and the methods of how that works, but needless to say, yes, there's, there's excellent, very advanced tracking uh, capabilities. In Manitoba, unlicensed daycares are permitted to operate with a maximum of four children under the age of 12, with no more than two of the children under the age of two. Police now stressing to parents to know whether or not the daycare they're sending their children to is licensed or unlicensed, and to make sure to ask questions of the operators, like whether or not child abuse and criminal record checks are done, find out who has access to the home, what safety certifications are in place, and if parents are allowed to check in on kids at the daycare. These are crimes of access and opportunity. Um, the offenders in this type of situation, they don't hide behind the proverbial bushes. Uh, they're amongst us. They are, they are in the places, unfortunately, where some of our children may attend to. I, we're not saying this release to scare anyone. We're just saying, please be aware, do your checks and balances. It's a good time to educate your children and um, educate yourself. The charges are now before the courts, and on Friday, Prince's attorney says he cannot comment at this time. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.